They're at risk during hurricanes and storms, which is why one local university here is teaching them how to prepare. Georgia Beck is here with some important reminders for your older loved ones. Georgia. Guys, Southern University partnered with the Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness to meet senior communities where they're at to teach them crucial storm prep information. It was something to deal with mentally seeing all that water and it, you didn't have time to think about it. Julia McInnes remembers what it was like when she raced to escape floodwaters in 2016. And the truck stopped transmission problem because the water had overtaken it. But we saw so many people. As a matter of fact, I, I sort of cried because I saw people running with children and with that distressed look on their face. Storms can bring up traumatic memories for many living in Louisiana. As a part of Southern University's first Real Preparedness for Real People event, mental health specialist Dr. Ashlyn Harrison taught folks relaxation methods to use when they face a stressful situation. We all have experienced some type of trauma due to storms, um, be it the flood of 16 or um, hurricanes. So I think it's very important for us to know how to not only support our mental well-being within those moments, but also how to make sure that we're not re-traumatized every time it rains, every time we hear that there's a hurricane coming. Folks there also learned other emergency preparedness tips, like how to create an emergency fund that includes at least three months worth of money, how to work and where to place a generator, what documentation to have in case they need to evacuate, and where to find their insurance policy information. You know, we take it for granted having an emergency kit, but preparedness is more than just bottled water and tuna fish. You need to be able to to plan effectively for your, your family to for those conveniences. McInnes says one of the most important things she learned was to keep paper money on hand in small amounts like fives and tens. Financial is so important because there are times when the electric goes off or something like that. You cannot go to the ATM, no banking, no gas. So you need to have money on hand. Southern's Family and Human Sciences program leader says seniors will walk away with valuable tips they can share with others. We have to have our smoke detectors in our home. Are you prepared financially? Today I learned about, hey, food preparedness. Are we really touching on those things? So we wanted to get away from just this is how you build a kit, this is how you make a plan, but real preparedness because the first 72 is on you. Today's workshop was the first of four emergency preparedness events. Next week, Southern is hosting one at their satellite campus in Opelousas to continue spreading the knowledge. Back to you. All right, the first 72 is on you. That's stuck with me. Thank you, Georgia. Appreciate it.